for an immediate replacement of the troops that are being withdrawn by equivalent force from other countries. And for an action of Congress to um, permit you to enlarge it enough to include some of them? Are we going to have to wait for an act of Congress to what? For your enlargement it, it, to be big enough to include some Negroes in that list. Of U.S. mission... Oh, well, uh, I don't appoint... Uh, there will be no one appointed to this uh, mission merely because he's uh, uh, of his color. He will be appointed on the grounds of his special competence for the task that will be assigned him. And uh, that would include uh, uh, Negroes and, uh, and uh, other minority... representatives of other minorities as well as... as um, uh, white Protestants or anything else. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, that um, what you already know, and I'm not adding anything to what you already know. That uh, that the that there are several elements that I can mention with respect to communist China uh, about American policy, our determination to stand by our treaty commitments with our allies is one. Our determination to oppose further communist encroachment in free Asia is another. Our realization that communist China's actions and hostility toward the United States constitutes a barrier to normal relations is another. And that communist China's threats to take Taiwan by force, if necessary, are inconsistent with the renunciation of force, which is an obligation of all members of the United Nations. I could go on somewhat further, but I think this perhaps serves to clarify. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you.